Hi friends, it's Miss Anna. It's good to see you. Um, since we can't be together at uh, St. Peter's, this is a way that we get to get together and do church school. So I'm gonna do our church school lesson, um, just like we would do a lesson um, if we were together at church. Uh, our lesson today is about the woman at the well and how Jesus met a, a Samaritan woman at the well. I want you guys to think about ways that you have already used water this morning. Uh, maybe did you brush your teeth or have to flush a toilet? Maybe you, your parents made some coffee or you guys made some oatmeal. What are some ways that you guys used water this morning? Good. There are lots of other ways you use water too. During the summer, maybe we go swimming in a pool. Um, we might go out on a lake and go on a boat on some water. We use it to water our plants outside. Um, we use it to wash things. We have water all around and we need it for lots of different things. Um, so what I'm going to ask you guys to do now is to go and get a cup of water for you guys to have. So you guys can go and pause the video um, if you need to and go ahead and get a cup of water and then come back. Okay, I'm glad you guys were able to do that. So I have my um, pitcher of water here and I'm going to pour it in my cup. And what I want you guys to do is to go ahead and take a sip of it and think, hmm, what does the water taste like? Um, you can also, don't take a drink of it after this, or you can pour it in another bowl, but go ahead and put your fingers in there and, feel, and try and discover what does it feel like? What does the water feel like? Mine's a little bit cold, wet. So um, remember, don't drink it after you put your fingers in it. Now you can put that one away. <laughs> okay, so water is super important to our lives. Um, it's something that we can't even live without. Having clean water is something that people need to be able to stay alive. Um, for us, we're pretty used to having easy access to water. We usually go up to a faucet and we turn it and, and water comes out. And then we turn it off and, and we can count on it being clean water. Um, we have lots of water in our stores usually that we can buy, and so it's something that's really easy for us to get. But there are lots of places in the world where that's not the case. Um, usually maybe one town would have one well that they use, um, that they would have to walk a ways away to go and get their water. A well would be a deep hole down in, into the ground, and they put usually bricks um, or rocks around to kind of keep the sand out, and then the water is all the way down to the bottom. So it stay, stays clean and um, cool down there. And people have to lower buckets all the way down and pull them back up. And then they take those um, jars of water and they have to carry them back and they use that water for everything they would need for drinking and cleaning um, and cooking. They would have to do that every day. So it was a really important thing. Um, back when Jesus was on earth, that's how everybody got their water. They either had to go to a nearby stream or a town had a well. And in our lesson today, Jesus is by a well at a town um, where, um, in the um, area of Samaria, where Samaritans lived. Um, you can have a, um, you guys have had a chance to go ahead and read our Bible story, maybe with your family, um, or uh, we have a video of um, the storybook Bible being read. You guys can watch that too. Um, if you haven't done that, you can go ahead and do that now, or do it after our lesson. So, um, so when Jesus is at um, this well waiting, a woman comes up. It's midday, so it's really hot, um, and it's a Samaritan woman that's come. And normally, the Jewish people and the Samaritans are not people that interact with each other at all. They had a lot of differences, and they did not get along. So it was really unusual that Jesus spoke to this woman and asked her for some water. Um, and she kind of said, you know, what are you doing asking for water? You're not supposed to talk to me. But then Jesus um, clarified for her, you know, what's really important is this water you're drinking, but even more important is living water, and I have that to give you. Of course, that was a little confusing to her. But what Jesus meant when he said that he was the living water is the same way that we need water to stay alive, for, um, for our bodies to work well. Um, Jesus is a living water, and what that means is that we need Jesus for our hearts to be in the best place they can be. For us to live our full lives, Jesus teaches us about what it means to know God and to live the way that God wants us to live. So when we have that living water from Jesus, that means we get to live our whole lives. 
So as the as Jesus is talking to this woman, um, the Samaritan woman starts to realize how important what Jesus um, has to offer is. Um, she realizes, and she goes back, not only does she kind of hold that in her heart and know how special Jesus is, but she goes back and she tells the people in her town um, about how special Jesus is and how they need to come and learn from him too. So that's the same responsibility that we have now. When we have the living water that comes from Jesus that gives us the ability to live our whole lives the way that God wants them to be lived, it's our job to now share that with other people. It's not for us to keep just for ourselves and not share with others. <clears throat> the same way if we had water and there were people that were thirsty, we would, um, we would want to share that water with people. We want to share the love that we have from God with everyone around us. And the other important part is that by um, Jesus speaking to a Samaritan woman, um, that shows us that God's love is for everybody. It's not just for certain people that are, are like each other. Um, God uses all kinds of people and God loves all of us. God's love is for every single person. So every single person you come in, um, in contact with, you have a chance to share God's love with them. So that's what I encourage you guys to do this week. And of course, it's going to look a little different right now because our lives are a little different right now than they usually are. Um, but you guys are really creative, and I bet you'll find lots of ways that you can do that. Um, if you go to our website, uh, stpeterspress.org forward slash kids, there are a couple um, activities that you guys can do that um, will take our lesson um, and give you new ways to think about it. So I encourage you guys to do that. You can always reach out to me too. Um, and if you have any questions for me, um, I'd be happy to answer them for you. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.